Habitat of the Living Class 6 Science By the end of this session, you will understand Habitats Adaptations Acclimatization A variety of organisms is found in different places. Each organism lives in a particular area, where it finds food and other resources it needs to survive. Now, let us learn more about these areas, and the animals that live there. The area, where a particular organism lives naturally, is called, its habitat. The five major habitats are forests, grasslands, deserts, mountains and polar regions, and, aquatic habitat. Changes in the structure, or behavior of an organism, which allow it to survive in a particular habitat, is called, adaptation. Organisms adapt to their habitat by the following means. Changes in body. Changes in behavior. Changes in location. Forests are large areas, covered with plants. Different types of plants, and animals are found in forests. There are three major types of forests on the earth. Tropical, temperate, and boreal. Tropical forests, also known as rainforests, are found between the equator and the two tropics. These regions receive heavy rainfall throughout the year. The variety of flora and fauna found in these forests is vast. Orchids, vine, moss, and fern are examples of plants found in tropical forests. Examples of animals are bat, gorilla, monkey, jaguar, sloth, macaw, etc. Adaptation in plants living in tropical forests Leaves of tropical rainforest trees have specialized dips, called drip dips. Drip dips enable raindrops to run off quickly. Due to dense vegetation of rainforests, very little light can reach the forest floor. Thus, very few plants can survive here. Plants growing in lower levels have big leaves to absorb more sunlight. Adaptation in animals living in tropical forests There is a huge variety of animals, found in rainforests. Therefore, competition for food is very high. Many animals are adapted by learning to eat a particular food. The sloth exhibits camouflage. The ability of certain animals to blend with the surroundings, making them difficult to spot is called, camouflage. This adaptation enables them to hide from predators. Temperate forests are found in eastern North America, northeastern Asia, and western and central Europe. The temperature here ranges from minus 30 to 30 degrees Celsius. Most trees found here are deciduous, that is, they shed their leaves once a year. Trees such as maple, oak, and elm are found in temperate forests. And fox, bald eagle, mountain lion, bobcat, and black bear are the examples of animals found here. Most trees are deciduous. They have thin, broad leaves that allow them to easily capture sunlight. To prevent damage to leaves in the freezing winters, trees shed their leaves. Many animals here either hibernate or migrate to warmer regions during winter. Animals such as squirrels and chipmunks gather food during summer and store it for eating during winter. Boreal forests are also called taiga. These forests are characterized by very low temperatures. Plants found here are evergreen trees, such as pine, fir, and spruce. 
animals such as wolf, lynx, fox, deer, woodpecker, hare, moose, etc., are found in this region. Boreal forests receive heavy snowfall. Trees have a conical shape, that allows the snow to slide off easily. Most trees are evergreen. Trees also have narrow, needle-like leaves. This kind of structure protects the leaves from damage. Most boreal animals migrate to warmer regions during winter. Some animals hibernate. Some animals have a thick layer of fur, or feathers, to protect themselves from cold. Grasslands are regions, dominated by grasses. There aren't too many trees, and shrubs here. Grasslands provide shelter, to variety of animals, including giraffe, zebra, lion, elephant, and, gazelle. Grassland plants usually have flexible stems that bend, instead of breaking when the wind is strong. These plants also have strong roots. Plants have narrow or tiny leaves to reduce water loss. The baobab tree, can survive periods of low water availability by storing water in its huge trunk. Some plants have roots, that extend deep into the soil to absorb as much was as possible. Most grassland animals can run fast, which allows them to escape their predators. This ability also protects them from frequent grassland fires. The grasses found in dry grasslands are brown most of the time. Many grassland animals have skin shades of brown, that makes them hard to spot among the dry, brown grass. Deserts are areas, that receive very little rainfall. Sahara, Kalahari, Antar, are some deserts. Though deserts are mostly considered to be hot, some are very cold. Example, the Gobi Desert in China. Organisms such as cactus, camel, rattlesnake, gila monster, and kangaroo rat are found in deserts. Plants have developed adaptations to survive in the hot and dry climate of the deserts. Most plants have long roots that go deep into the soil, in search of water. Let's see the modifications in the cactus. The leaves of cactus, are modified as spines, to minimize the water loss. The stem is swollen and fleshy to store water. The stem is green, to make food for the plant. Cactus has a thick, waxy coating, that prevents water loss and helps it to retain water. Adaptation in Desert Animals Camel's long eyelashes, and ear hairs, protect the eyes, and ears from sand. Fat stored in a camel's hump, acts as a food reserve. Its long legs keep its body away from hot sand. Broad feet help in walking on the sand without sinking in it. It can drink a huge quantity of water at a time, and can stay without water for a long period. It can keep its nostrils closed to keep out sand. Many desert animals and insects stay in deep underground burrows during the day to escape from the heat. The Earth's polar regions and the tall mountains are extremely cold. Animals such as polar bears, penguin, seal and walrus are found in the polar regions mountain goat sheep yak and snow leopards are some animals found in mountains mountain plants grow close to the ground to avoid being uprooted by strong winds most plants found here produce smaller leaves to prevent water loss some plants are also able to grow under a layer of snow. Some mountain animals hibernate, 
or migrate to warmer areas during colder months. The polar bear has several adaptations to survive in polar regions. White fur matches the surroundings, snow, making the polar bear difficult to spot. Small ears and tail minimize heat loss from the body. Padded feet help the polar bear to walk in the snow. Thick fur and a layer of fat under the skin protect the polar bear from cold. The yak has several adaptations to survive in the mountains. The yak's mouth is adapted for grazing on a variety of plants. A thick coat of hair protects the yak from cold. Large chest and lungs help it to adapt to low oxygen content in the mountains. The yak uses its hooves and horns to break the ice from frozen ground and graze on the grass below. Aquatic Habitat The aquatic habitat comprises all the water bodies on the planet. It is mainly of three kinds. Freshwater, marine, and coastal. Rivers, lakes, ponds, and streams are example of freshwater habitats. Fish Frog Duck Lotus Water lily are found in fresh water. Oceans and seas form the largest habitat on the planet. Their water is salty. A large variety of animals live in the marine habitat, from tiny plankton to the largest animal in the world, blue whale. Fish Whale Shark Jellyfish Crab Starfish Sea Turtle Octopus And seaweed is found in marine habitats. Coastal habitats refers to the region where the land meets the sea. These are the regions where salt water from the ocean mixes with the fresh water from the rivers. Thus, unique habitats provide shelter to several marine animals and birds. Animals found here include crab, oyster, waterfowl, and worm, mangroves, seaweed, and marsh grasses are plants found here. Plants that live in flowing water have long narrow stems. This prevents the plants from being carried away with water currents. Stems have air chambers that allow the aquatic plants to float in water. Leaves of plants such as lotus and water lily have waxy covering that prevents them from rotting. Aquatic animals show a variety of adaptations to survive in water. Ducks have webbed feet that help them in swimming. They also have hollow bones. Fish has gills to breathe underwater. Fins help them to swim and maintain the body balance. Streamline body allows them to swim fast. Some sea animals such as octopus and squid do not have streamlined shape. However, as they move in water, they make their body streamlined. Animals such as dolphin and whales do not have gills to breathe in water. They instead breathe through lungs. They have blowholes located at the upper part of their heads. They come to water surface and breathe in air through blowholes from time to time. Acclimatization Adaptation refers to changes in an organism over a long period. There are certain changes that occur in an organism over a short period of time, which help it to adjust to the changes in its surroundings. This is called acclimatization. For example, sheep grow very thick wool in a cold climate. 